EDM, Electrical Discharge Machining, is a fascinating processing technology. To reduce cost and save space in my small workshop, I decided to build an EDM machine following the book of Ben Fleming for a simple resistor capacitor solution. I have to make many long but slim slots into the heat exchangers of my Stirling engines and the EDM process seems to be a much better processing technology than conventional machining. All began with a big prototype board and resulted in my first big electronic project. As you maybe can see. Next, the mechanical parts have to be produced where my CNC machines come into action. Added some pieces of my big spare parts bin and I was ready for my first burn. Despite the provisional setup, everything looks very promising. With improved flushing, I get a stable burn using bigger electrodes of pure electrolytical copper. My reason for building an EDM machine was cutting small slots into the heat exchangers of my Stirling engines, what is a tough job with conventional machining. I switch on the generator. Start the pump. And burn. For this I made many tests with different thin sheets of different materials and geometries, but never got a stable burn. On top of this I have excessive wear on the electrode, which is sometimes more than 300% versus stainless steel. I am not sure if it is a problem of having too much electric arcs instead of sparks and how to deal with it. I know that a relatively simple resistor capacitor technology results in more electrode wear but this much would make it useless for me. Sheet copper is normally not as pure as round stock electrolytical copper and I will try this next. Graphite does also not burn stable in water and after a short time it even stops working at all. After this test series the filter was clogged and I tried vegetable oil. And again, the big electrodes burned very stable, the whole house smelled of fried chips, but again the important thin sheets did not burn stable. I also realized that the cheap linear guides and the ball screw were not as precise as I thought, which causes a wider slot and additional wear on the electrode. 
With great care I straighten it and bend them without getting a really satisfactory result. A sturdy linear guide fixed this problem. Normal tap water works surprisingly well, but the main problems remained. Lamp oil was the best dielectric I tested, but with thin sheets it also didn't burn stable. Tantalum and stainless steel as electrodes welded together with a workpiece. At first the burn with graphite was the best I had with thin electrodes, but after a few minutes it was getting better. I am not sure if I have the right grade of graphite. With aluminium alloy the graphite even broke away. EDM is a fascinating technology in making a wrench width for allen wrenches or other bigger geometries burn very stable on the simple resistor capacitor machine although the finish is a bit coarse and electrode wear is high but acceptable. My main aim to EDM the long small slots I need is not achieved by now due to unstable burn and excessive electrode wear. I hope I can fix this choosing the right electrode material, pure electrolytic copper or the right grade of graphite. If it is a fundamental problem of the basic resistor capacitor principle, maybe I try a pulse EDM also described in a book of Ben Fleming. The electronics are much more complex and the design seems to be a bit anachronistic when I think of the easy use of modern microcontrollers. There are several building instructions in the net using microcontrollers. If you know a good instruction for a nice performing EDM with less electrode wear, please let me know. I am as always very happy if you leave a command or a suggestion especially for stabilizing the burn of small electrodes and reducing wear. Greetings from Germany and best wishes. Bye.